In today's video, I want to show you how to set up a NAS server. We are going to use an Amazon C7, but you can use an Orange Pi, a Raspberry Pi, an Inidroid Nova, or whatever SBC you have. As you can see, we have a USB pen drive connected to the single board computer. This is a 124 gigabytes, and we have just a TXT file on it. And we are going to share this drive into all our networks. So any device in your network, a computer, a tablet, a phone, or whatever, can access this folder. But first, a message from the sponsor of today's video, Oscal. Oscal is introducing their new smartphone, the Tiger 13. It is the first of the Tiger series to feature 5G. It also has NFC, 5000 mAh of battery, 8GB of RAM, and 256GB of storage for just 140 euros. With the offer I leave in the description. The smartphone is available in two colors, violet and black, and comes with all the necessary accessories in the box. And also, you can increase the storage via a micro SD card. So let's start by formatting the USB. So let's open the terminal, install gpart with this command and open it. As you can see in the top part, we have the different medias attached to our single board computer. So please keep in mind that we can delete the system. So be careful. And we know we have this pendrive connect, which is 120 gigabytes. So let's select this one. This is our original EMMC in the single board computer. So if we delete this, we are going to delete all the system. So keep in mind, to select the correct one so let's select this one and here you can see all the partitions so let's click on it we have to unmount first the media and now we can play with the partitions so first click on delete in any partition you have now click on new and here you can select the file system format so in my case i'm gonna use ntfs because this is compatible with windows in case you want to connect the hard drive to other computer a windows computer i recommend you selecting this one if not you will be fine just with xfat but something or this one that are for linux so let's select this one click on add and now click on apply when the process finishes the format will be completed everything will be deleted from the media and you will be able to use it so i'm gonna just close this because i don't want to format the drive after this you should see your drive here so now we're going to create a folder in a different path and we're going to mount this drive to that folder so let's open a terminal and first we need to identify the drive so let's write the command lsblk and you can see that this is the drive we are going to use this is the default path where it is mounted but we are gonna change this so let's go to this path and we are going to check that we can see this file we can see that we are inside the drive and we are going to go one folder up check this is the folder so let's unmount this with this command you can see that now we don't have this mounted you can check with lsblk that now it doesn't appear here any path so let's go to our new location let's go to slash mnt in my case and let's create here a new folder you can see that we need sudo permissions. We are going to modify the permissions on this folder with this command. And now we have to mount this path into this folder. This is the command we are going to use where this is our media drive. And this is the folder where we want to mount it. So now if we go inside this folder, we can see that we have the original TXT file. Now we have to install Samba and share this drive with all the network. So first, let's go outside the drive. Let's run the typical command to update and upgrade all the packages. Wait until everything finishes. And now we are going to use the Samba packages. So let's write this command. Once we have this command, we can now go to the Samba configuration file. It is in this path. Let's go at the end of the file. And here we are going to write this. I will leave all this information in a repository in the description of the video. So you can just copy and paste this information. But here we have the folder we have just created and where the drive is mounted. This is the name we're going to give to the shared folder. You can change this as you prefer. And this is the rest of the configuration. So let's control O, enter, control X to save an exit. And now we have to restart the Samba service. So write this command. And if you want to check the status, we can run status instead of restart. As you can see, it is active and it is running. After we have modified the configuration file, we need to create a password for the user. So with this command, you can change username with your username. Here, let's type a password. And after this, now we can restart the Samba service with this command. And let's check the status also. And you can see that it's active and running. So now let's go to the Windows computer. Now in the Windows computer, you can see that we have these four drives. This is my real NAS setup where I have 10 terabytes of USB hard drives. Everything is connected to a Raspberry Pi and we're going to mount a new one. So let's click on the three dots, connect to a new network drive. Here you can select 
the letter you prefer and here we have to write the IP of the single board computer if you don't know you can write the following command and this is the IP of your single board computer this is one and this is another you can use the one that you prefer one is for the Wi-Fi and another one is for the Ethernet cable let's click on use another credentials let's click on search and here you can see that this is the folder drive one that we have shared so let's click on accept and now we are prompted to enter the credentials this is the password we have set up with the samba password command and as you can see we have a new drive here which is 100 gigabytes and you can see that we have this txt file if we create a new file for example and a folder we can see that if we go to a single board computer let's go to drive one we can see that everything is here so we are sharing this drive into all our network in my case as i have a vpn i can show how to set up a vpn in another video i can access my network drives from anywhere i am and to finish with the video i want to show you how to mount the drive automatically into the folder we want so first we need to know the uid of the drive with this command we can know the id of the different drives so in my case let's look for the sda1 as you can see with lsblk we know this is the drive one you can see the uid and also we can see the type which is ntfs so let's modify now the fs tab with this file, we can tell the system to mount the drive we want into the folder we want. And we're going to paste this line in the FS tab file. So we are telling here the UID of the drive, the path where we want to mount it, the type file, and different configuration. So let's control O and control X to save an exit. Check that everything is fine. This is the line we added. And now let's reboot the system. And if everything is fine, the system is reboot. And in the Windows computer, we can connect to this drive without any problem. So now this is how I set up my NAS. I also have a torrent service connected. So everything is downloaded to this folder, for example. And I share the downloads with all my computers in the network. If you are interested on how to set up a torrent box, leave a comment in the video and I will show you how to set up everything.